Hey everybody, welcome to the nightly video and we had a pretty fun open to start the month. Um, although the monthly video, the monthly video, we had a lot of monthly signals to the upside. We started pretty weak to open the morning. Um, what we noticed was IBM was gapping down closer to an inside day down to start the new month with Dow Jones opening as an inside day as well. And then Q's closer to going inside down pivot machine gun through these guys to start the month. And then spy you can see opened as three and then back into that with a kicking pattern on the 60. We'll also see this kicking pattern 60 on Dow Jones, simultaneous break with QQQ, simultaneous break, and IDBM, simultaneous break on the 60s. So a lot of people ask, do we use the 60 on the open? We do, because the 60 is a major signal. So if we can use the 60 to cause a daily signal, we do that for certain. And in this case, IDBM was a great example of what we can do. Kicking 60 confirmed by a 30 momentum shooter, which caused the inside day down below this, which causes the bottom of the try, then inside 30 add into the lows, and then all the way down all morning, taking out these guys down here to end off the day. So some good examples of that. And I know with the monthly video going out, a lot of upside signals, but like we always say, we let them open specifically for this reason. Everything can close closer to going two up, right? But if they don't become two up, we don't get that. Doesn't mean things didn't rally today. We will talk about what had occurred. But that being said, when we go to the tech, you can see tech weakness with the inside day as it did not trade two up, unlike something like, uh, not Q's, uh, we had a spy, where that was a three to the upside, or Dow Jones, where that was a two to the upside. Those were stronger, right? When we go to tech, that was inside. So this is weaker, inside down, and they just crater. And you can see pivot, 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 all taken out this morning. So the question is, how are you gonna change that, right? We're pretty red to start. We are still gonna be inside month at this point, Nowhere near last month's lows, which are way down here, 190, 80. So initial weekly pivots would be this, and then we don't really know. We'll see if that keeps going, but they're very red to start in the tech. And if we go to the semis, you have the same type of thing inside down. So the weaker semis, like things like MU that we talked about that are still going inside week down in this position, you still get to hold it. Those are reconfirming that type of stuff. You see inside two week down, confirming what we did way up in here. We have things like LRCX. See the two-two week in here and same thing, inside two week down confirming what we did there. So these are gonna be much closer to outside months that are still confirming back through a previous range and that type of stuff. We'll also see some chips like Marvel going two-two to start the week. This is from the gap list. And we always say keep the gap list up for more than a day if you're watching that universe. This goes two-two on a daily. And now to start the new month, it's three and then back in. So on the week, Still a 3-1 at this point, but it's bright red to start. So that could go 3-2 if things should get weaker. NVIDIA on the gap list opened as inside day down. If you go to the gap list, you can see this is why I was trading this morning. These are two things I pointed out specifically. And there was Boeing and there were some upside gappers as well, which we're going to take a look at. But NVIDIA this morning inside day down, and you can see they confirm it with the 15 or here to get that thing puking going all day. Um, if we go to TSM, this was on the gap list as well, straight from Elaine's list. That's where I'm getting all the gappers. Inside day goes inside down PMG from the gapper and just absolutely murdered, just like NVIDIA. You'll see the inside 15 measured move. So I sold, slight brief pause, and then sold again and then closed out at the lows. So a lot of this stuff in the chips, super weak taking last week's lows, just not taking last month's lows. But as we say, let them open. Now we can scan and say, well, a lot of chips, a lot of tech and killed in there. Um, as far as on the gap list, things that were really weak today, things like Boeing, You'll also see inside day down on the gap. And this is what you're going to see once I get the video out this morning. But we mentioned this green to red move with the inside one down. And this was just like a gigantic trade. I did not get filled on it, but at least in the video, you'll see how we pick that stuff out and why we're thinking down there instead of a gap down buy in this case. Um, but that being said, what had occurred is we can go and check out the Strat Alert site. Move this over here. So on the day, how many things are going two down today would be our question. So how many things go down to start the month? 307 names. How many things were two up today? And the 193. So you can see it's not like the whole market's crashing. We do have a specifically the tech and stuff being weak, uh, but not the whole market's crashing. So things going up, you got a lot of cyclicals 
uh, so consumer stuff, and there was a good amount of industrials as well as a good amount of health cares in there and consumer defensive specifically, uh, much stronger than the cyclicals. And if we continue scrolling through this stuff, you can see a lot of defensive and there's some financial services. So notice the staples, real estates, utilities, health cares, these things are going up and then the rest of the market is not. So we're seeing rotation out of tech into the health cares, the staples, utilities type names. Um, that being said, a lot of these are just continuation month, which is why they're not going to show up on, uh, let me get in here with my Google account so we can get this up here, but they're not going to show up on the scans as enforced signals, although there might be some enforced signals there, which we're going to check out. So enforce on the month to the upside, you see to start the month, BMY, Verizon, the 50 market cap. And then outside of that, it's like XPEV. So like some of these small names, a lot of nobodies, right? Uh, so BMY, Verizon, those were your two upside names in four signals. So you see Verizon today opened as a two up day where the whole market's going two down, which opens as I believe three, two, two month. You can forgive me if I'm wrong there, but these damn trading view charts. Yeah, so it's two down and then this would be three, two, two month up. So Verizon, a uh, little bit of distance on there to take these guys on and we'll see. It's one of the few things there. And then BMY and the health cares, it opens as inside month 312 up from the bottom of the try here. So it's been a lot higher. These are the signals you want to know about because if that works, where's it going? Potentially back up there, right? Bristol Myers. So we'll want to know about that. And like outside of that, it's like few consumer defensive, SYY and CHD. So it's just momentum, SYY, CHD is 22 month. So just a few names in there going 22 to start the month. Um, if we go to just two up, in general on indexes, you'll see staples, real estate, utilities, healthcare, so we already know that. We just scan two up month, 145 of those, if we filter them by spread to get the best ones, you see, what do we got? So you got the uh, market sectors in here and then a lot of consumer defensive and some health cares, right? So that is what's continuing this month. And continuations, not what I prefer to enter on, but we can pick out that the health cares and consumer defensive stuff is strong. So we go to sector and consumer defensive, you see Campbell Chicken Noodle Soup, Coca-Cola, M.O. Coca-Cola, this is something from the very beginning of the year that's <laughs> coming fruition up in here, and you can see this. So they're just gunning this thing after the hammer down in here, which you can go back and check. We talked about that actually in 2023 with the hammer on Coke, uh, and still very good on this stuff, right? Um, if we go to M.O., something we talked about with the, um, uh, what is it, the Zins, right? M.O. sells the Zins, I believe. Um, or it's Philip Morris, but uh, they kind of trade the same or with each other. But MO is still very green year, still has yearly magnitude, confirming that with the monthly up to start. And you'll see they kind of rip it up into the highs and then triangle the out. So we'll see. And then you can go to Philip Morris and you'll see that too. So with the Zins, I believe it's Philip Morris. So that's going to be correct. But inside you're up in Philip Morris in the Staples. And then Coca-Cola, we already looked at. Chicken noodle soup. So Campbell's chicken noodle soup confirming, you can see the quarterly broadening information, where's it going? Notice the mother bar, poke down, poke up, poke down, right into the bottom of the try to the penny, and then where's it going? It's trying to poke up there. So chicken noodle soup for the small account guys, you got a lot of continuity in there, so just need a new signal. You'll have the kicking pattern day. You'll see the nice PMG, which we did not have uh, uh, talking about into the new month, but PMG takes it up in here. We'll see if they come back tomorrow to continue to buy that. Uh, so you can pick that stuff out as very strong to start. If we go then to two down on the month, we're not going to have too many things to be kind of similar. So two down in force on the month, just Domino's Pizza cyclical. So month inside month momentum measured move Domino's Pizza. So notice relatively weak as it failed to make the new highs. So it's just say it's the buyers here not strong enough to make new highs, which tells us they were not strong, right? So where are they trying to go? Potentially back down here, right? Two weeks to do that, so we'll take it the other way. And DPZ to start the month, you got nice red day on Monday, so we'll, or not, well, Tuesday. So we'll see if they come back tomorrow for the strat attack, come back and really start getting those moving. Uh, outside of that, since that's the only thing there, we can go to the week. You'll notice on the week, simultaneous break in the week to the downside in force, 124 signals. If we go two up. 13 signals. So you can see, obviously, most, most things enforced down, and healthcare is consumer defensive. These are all your weekly signals to track this week. So we can start on the upside, make it simple. Hurl in the defensive names. You'll see it looks like inside week and up, 
just confirming a looks like potential three quarter a little bit of a squint to look at that one but big old try in there on the quarter so a potential outside bar from the lows could get it moving uh, kmb you're gonna see just straight up confirming the last month's range inside weaken up the staples going to the top of the try and then a lot of healthcare cnc weekly to the upside confirming outside quarter which is just outside if we go to cor in the health cares, it is a 222 on the week. Still has some magnitude to go to up month. If we go to Holos, H O L X, you can see 22 week still has some range to come back through. So, got a few of these names. Not a lot of these ones are ones I'm normally trading in here, but uh, those things in the health cares are going to you know, have some simultaneous break. And then in the Utes, S O is coming back through. And you see XLU's up at the highs. Slight doji to start the week. And then PNW. Has some weekly signal in there in the Utes. And I believe it's going to be a sideways like on a four-week chart. What, one, two, three? Yeah, so monthly inside bar. It's a four-week inside bar uh, right there. That's breaking in the utilities. You'll see on the year, three to the upside. So it's shown some aggression. We'll see. Um, so like a few things going up, right? And then enforce on the downside, two down. Normally, when we have a lot of names, I'm going to filter it by spread or market cap. So we saw Boeing already, Netflix on the week goes inside week down. So back into that monthly three, we talked about a lot of those outside months last or in the weekend video. So that's coming back in. We go to target. You'll see inside week down with the monthly three as well. If we go to Apple starts as a slight two, two weeks, still dead stuck on the month. So, you know, meh, uh, CMG. Revstrat week 3122, I believe. Yeah, so 3122 week CMG. So this could have some issues back into 48 on CMG after a slight triangle day out. Something we'd want to know about. And I'm going to start throwing this list together here. As far as observations here. If we go to Costco shooter week to start the new month. And it is pretty green on big time frames, but the month continuity changes back into a three. So three, three, one, and red back in. Uh, looks like we had a lot of energies breaking down to start. They didn't really follow through on that. So I'm not going to talk too much about that stuff. But it looks like DVN's a little weaker there. If we get an end phase in the tech, ENPH. So this is how we time breakouts. You'll see they're stuck inside the previous range. Poke up. No pokes down. Notice all the equal lows here. So everyone's got stops down here. Now, 2-2 two, two week. If this works, where's it going? Down there. Right? There's your magnitude. So 96-86. We'd love to see if Ian Page gets on the strat attack list and confirms that stuff tomorrow. If we go to GE in the industrials, starts as 2-2 two, two week. So although it had that monthly hammer, you can see it starts 2 down A and PMG's back through the range. So 2-2 two, two week down, not a good thing there, but... Still an inside month, so how are you getting out of that? Um, if we go to Cuervo in the technologies, it's like it's closer to try and take this stuff back down. You see Rev starting on a two week chart. And they start really red to start the week. So we'll see if that seller comes back or not. It's not going to be on my list, though. A little picky there. And then Spy is going to be on this list. Two, two week to start, but already hit its magnitude, so it's a question mark. And when we look at the spy, you can see the seller exhaustion at the close. So your 60 try, it's going to look something like this. So question mark, right to left, we go. So question mark, does that come back through or do we triangle out and get it back down puking? Um, in the cyclicals, Starbucks starts as a rev strat week, you know, pretty big magnitude. I don't, I don't know if that's going to be happening, but that is going to be technically on the list here. See slight lower low, slight higher high. So we will see uh, more than likely has to be triangle day out of that gap. Anyone that's long into the gap because you're such an inside month there. And then W in the cyclicals. Uh, just continuation stuff, no thanks. And then it looks like materials, two, two week from the top of the broadening formation. So you'll see something like this in the materials. And then some more energy stuff hitting the lows. So on the weekly type of stuff, it's going to be that and then if we just sort by market cap to get the bigger market cap names see if there's anything we're missing in here looks like we just got looks like more tech so like adi two two or two one two week in the chips relatively weak the video is probably the one we want to be watching with the three two down week which can go on the list 
or continuation in NVIDIA to expand that range and make it bigger. All right, so you know that's about it. Maybe TXN and the technologies two two week. Notice that's top of the try. That's a three on the month, yeah. Three, and then like we said, that's a three. So two two week. Where's it going? It's trying to go down there technically. So TXN, we can put that on the list as well. With the Nvidia. Um, that being said, though, setting up into tomorrow, we want to know who's hammer and ideally whoever's inside day, because the inside days will confirm and negate the buys or sells we see. So inside on the day, we got about 60 names in here and filtering by market cap to get rid of some of the small ones. We will see Amazon inside day. So that could go inside up or inside down reversal. If it goes inside up, you trigger the week. So if the market were to recover, we'd go above that 178.24. This will be actionable signals. So two, two one day with potential weekly signal on Amazon. Looks like the transports go inside day today to start the week. So inside day could go up or down. We'll see in the transports and we will check out that sector UPS. So UPS, that could PMG down on the day, which would cause the week PMG down. So this is where if things confirm, boom, 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 boom. You take all these guys out and then you got the weekly PMG, which is boom, 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 all the way through this. So that could really get puke in UPS. We go to Norfolk Southern. That's also an industrial transport type name. You know, it could go inside day down PMG. It's just going to be inside week at that point. So we prefer UPS. Tells you to look at FedEx as well, which started as two down to start the week with the two two week in force. So we already have FedEx going down. Question is, does that confirm with UPS or not? Give us at least a little bit of evidence there. Um, outside of that, we'll see in the cyclicals O'Reilly inside day so that could either go pmg if things are weak tomorrow and take all these guys out in one go and this is where those options if you go and grab like a 1100 put those could really go crazy if you take out all these guys in one go or inside and up which would simply just go doji month up so we'd actually prefer it down simply for the range that we could have there um, but we can throw that in there and that's going to be discretionary i believe o'reilly yeah cyclical so cyclical with Amazon, we'll also have O'Reilly 2-1 day. And if you like me doing this where we mark it out and maybe take a little bit more time on these videos, let me know. But uh, Lulu, 3-1 day after the earnings could go 3-2 up or 2 down on the week, depending on where that goes. We actually prefer it down to cause the 3-2 down week with the 3-on-2 down day to cause an inside month down. And Lulu, obviously the big try, this could get a lot worse still. And if you remember when we pointed out Lulu, the inside month at the top of the range gives you expectation of the bottom of the range. And we're already down there. So the question is, does that momentum continuation like it did the previous month here, momentum continuation add. Um, so we will see Lulu. Potential three, two week. And outside of that, not seeing too much of interest on the inside day list with the market cap filter. If we go to rev strats or 322s, we'll see. Or we actually we actually could go double inside to see if there's anything there. Doesn't yeah, it doesn't look like it. Didn't expect it. Uh, if we go to 122 for the two down in green, things that recovered. Some consumer defensive, so ADM could become soft rev strat tomorrow, PayPal, soft rev strat, maybe team. Soft rev strat, so not really a lot of good rev strat signals with hammers or anything. We can go hammer and see if there is anywhere missing. CTRA and IEP and the energies, but these are gonna be rev strats the other way, which is very interesting. Um, doesn't look like that's the right one. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, so CTRA, should the energies recover, this could blow these guys out the other way. 
You see they blew out all the lows, came back in. So back the other way, smaller account guys, you could go after this stuff. It's, you know, nice percent move, but 60 cents. And IEP in the energies, slight rev strat as well. So that'll be about it. As far as signals go, I believe XOP, not XOP, XOM is also maybe a little bit of a hammer to rev strat the week. So there's a few energy names in there, but you can go to crude oil. Crude is not having a good time in here. Uh, sadly, no long in the oil sector here. What I would expect is they stop all these guys out and then turn it around. So crude, 2-2 two, two rev strat quarter in force right here. Crude, 72.48 going 63.64. Um, also tells us we can check out the gold. And gold to start is two down week. We'll see later this week if that turns into rev strat or if it starts PMGing back through. Uh, Goldman Sachs came out and said they still want to buy gold. So we'll see. Uh, on the rev strat shooters, two up in red. We got cyclicals all over. Bros. So bros would be rev strat to cause. Looks like weakened down. Still deep inside month though. Uh, eBay. Rev strat from recent highs. Looks like slight lower high, so two weeks to do that. Still an inside month at this point. So you got some PMG there. After that, we don't know, though. And then Teslers. That'd be a rev strat to go outside week Tesla. And everyone loves to trade me a Tesla, right? So boom, 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 boom. We take all those guys out in one go. We put that in the cyclicals there. We can also put eBay. If we want to, we can put broads. And is up to the trader. We point out the signals, you do the analysis of the rest and see if it fits your trade plan. That's pretty much how we do it here. Um, we'll check the shooters here as well. You know, it looks like CVS and the healthcare's nice shooter rev strat. Could cause a 3-2 down week should that play out there. You got the daily try looking like this. So you want to take them into these guys. And I'm just flipping through them pretty quick just to make it faster for everyone else. Yeah, so that's about it for the rev strats. And then 3-2-2 or 3-1. I believe I already looked at all the inside. Didn't see a lot of 3-1. You go 3-2 down in green. Pod. Healthcare. So you can see 3-2-2 two, two for tomorrow could cause the hammer month 2-2 two, two reversal up, which would cause inside quarter up from the bottom of the quarterly broadening formation. So pod. And if we go two down or two up in red, we will get Lockheed Martin and Match. So Lockheed Martin, this is from Exhaustion Risk, so it's a maybe. If it does start playing out, you got Pivot Machine Gun, kind of like something if we go to GS today. Pivot Machine Gun, they just take them all out, right? So maybe we see that there. Uh, we also saw Cat do that, right? So we will see Lockheed Martin if they're going to try and follow suits. We do have a lot of more industrials, too, up to start the month. Um, but that would be on the 322 list. Um, forgot to get this one on the list pod. And then match. See, that'd be 322 pivot machine gun of all these guys causing an outside week. And then after the outside week, we don't know, but it could go inside month down if they start really weakening up. Uh, at this point, we'd say it's still inside month at this point. So once a three, always a three on the week. So what you'd want to do is take all these guys out and then stay down. So boom, 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 and boom. So if we can take all those guys out in one go and then stay down below this stuff. Then we could reclaim this range and start trying to gun for these guys. But, uh, you know, not the craziest setup in the world there. That being said, that covers most of your actionable signals to start the week. And again, I just want to get through here and show you the scans in force. So we can see on the month how many things are in force up or down because this will tell you what's happening this month. So this month, seven upside signals. 
one downside signal. So not much on the monthly basis, which means each week is going to confirm and negate what we know about today's trading. And then enforce down on the week, 124. Enforce up on the week, 13. So you got more signals enforced down than up this week. What does that tell you? Well, when you have a strong bias like that, it just tells you that there's more likely to be bearish bias this week since they're in force, unless that changes like a 2-2 on a Tuesday, but none of those indexes are close to doing that. And if we just count the directionals, you go two up on the week, 179, two down on the week, 234. So you have that slight bearish bias this week. And on a daily basis, what happened today? 307 down. 193 two up. So again, the slight bearish bias, but you know, since things are still going up, it's again, showing rotation. You got the healthcare, you got utilities, uh, and the cyclical slash defensive, mostly defensive. So we will see if they continue to be defensive going into that stuff and selling off the tech. And if that's the case, then we may just, you know, see more profit taking in the tech to rotate, uh, but not a market crash at this point. If we start seeing a lot of monthly signals go in force, uh, or even two downs on the month, then we got more of a problem. But until then, I'll see you guys in tomorrow night's nightly video where we go over the strat attack. And I hope you guys have a great day on Wednesday. And again, with the short week this week, we also are more likely to have more inside weeks than, uh, than we would normally. So we'll just be aware of that. Still 162 inside weeks to start. And that being said, that's gonna be about it for me tonight. So have a great rest of your day tomorrow and adios.